Hi and welcome. I'm Sunako, a freelance artist. Let me introduce you to the Huion Canvas Pro 24 4K. Huion has very generously sent me this tablet to review. If you'd like to know the answer to the video title, I can spoil it for you right away. Yes, this will replace my Cintiq Pro 16. First, I'd like to briefly show you the box and its contents. It comes in a large box with a carrying handle and inside it has a styrofoam structure to firmly hold the tablet and the box of wires. All the items inside the box are the pen, pen holder, pen nibs, a small tool for changing the nibs, a mini key dial which you can use for shortcuts, a power adapter, the AC cable, a USB-C cable, a USB-A to USB-C cable, an HDMI cable, and also a drawing glove. About the glove, I must mention that the size is quite small. I was really impressed by the sleek look of this tablet. It's quite slim for a 24-inch screen, and the bezels on the edges of the monitor are thinner than on my Cintiq Pro 16. On the back, it has a 4-hole attachment interface for VESA standard mounts and two foldable legs that let you prop up the tablet just a little bit, maybe about 20 degrees. When checking these out, I could feel that the legs and the whole tablet are built very sturdy. It doesn't feel flimsy whatsoever. The little shortcut pad it came with is quite handy if your keyboard is too large to sit next to your tablet or you don't have a place for it underneath. The keys and the turnable knob feel tactile and nice, and it has rubber feet so that it can even stay on top of your tablet without slipping if it's not tilted more than about 45 degrees. To connect the tablet to your computer, you can do so by USB-C, but on a desktop PC, that USB-C port would need to be on your graphics card for it to work. Otherwise, you will need to use two cables, one USB-A and one HDMI. It also comes with a DP port, two USB ports, and a headphone jack. The illustration I'm about to show you I drew over the past week, so I've not yet used this tablet for very long. But I think after one proper illustration, I have a good enough grasp to let you guys know what I think. So far, I'm quite satisfied with this tablet. The screen size of 24 inches feels luxurious, but nevertheless not too much. If anyone is wondering if they should get a 24 inch or a 16 inch display tablet, I would highly recommend the larger one. You can pivot more from your elbow and shoulder to draw, which helps a lot for being more consistent and confident in your line work, and keeps your wrist healthy. And you can view more of your drawing at all times, which is great so you don't lose sight of the big picture. Also, the program UI can be made just the right size without it being cramped. Having 4K resolution is also really nice, but I wouldn't say that I couldn't also draw the same thing on a 1440p screen for instance. The resolution is more of a luxury to me, very nice to have, but not as essential as the physical size. I thought the colors were pretty good as well, I felt no need to adjust any settings for them so far. It makes sense since the display's LCD type is IPS, which is known for its good colors. The feeling of the screen surface is also nice and the pen glides well on it. I do perhaps prefer the surface feel of my Cintiq, but it's only marginally better, so this doesn't really influence my decision to swap to Huion. If you look closely at the screen, there's also this tiny rainbowy grain texture, especially when viewing pure white or other light colors. The Cintiq has it too, and it personally doesn't bother me at all, and I stopped noticing it long ago, but I thought I should mention it. The pen works well, I didn't have any problems with it. It's nice and light, and I actually prefer it to my Wacom pen. The absolute best part is that you don't have to press extremely hard to use all of the 8192 pressure levels of the pen, so it's perfect for those of us who don't like to have a death grip on their pen nor to stab a hole through their display tablet. I didn't even adjust the pressure curve in the drivers and it required less weight to get the maximum output than my Cintiq pen did with the curve cut in half. 
The calibration was fine, I didn't have any problems with it either. Though of course it's not perfect at the edges of the screen, but it's within reasonable limits and you're not drawing in the corners of your monitor, so I think it's fine. I also want to mention how pleased I am that this monitor is not loud, and I didn't feel it getting hot either, it might have gotten slightly warm, but nothing really worth mentioning. Comparing this to my Cintiq, which makes more fan noise than my computer while drawing and heats up considerably in the middle, I'm very pleased with this Huion tablet. All in all, it was a very nice experience making this illustration on the Canvas Pro 24 4K. By the way, it's for the most part a study of my own photograph, I drew my OC instead. But no tablet is perfect, I do have some complaints. I had some problems with the drivers. Windows would recognize the tablet as two monitors instead of one, which led to a whole bunch of problems with this so-called ghost monitor. But this is not a slight on the tablet itself. I did get it to work after some troubleshooting each morning, but I'd rather not start each morning with tech issues. The good thing is, driver problems are repairable and I have hopes that Huion will fix them eventually. And actually, while making this video, I found a solution which made it work fully as intended, which was to move my USB cord to a grey color USB port. And I've given all the details to the Huion employee who was in contact with me, and they have forwarded the problem to their tech team. The other issue I had is that the wires are on the short side. I keep my PC close by under my desk, yet there is almost no leeway. I'd like to move the tablet off to the side when I'm not using it, but as it is, I have to unplug all three cables if I want to move it out of the way. I think for this price, they could add an extra meter or two to these cables. And then this is more of an aesthetic complaint, but I really don't like having too many wires on my desk, so I wish it had more of a similar setup to Wacom where only one wire connects to the tablet and the rest branch off under your table. So I hope this review was helpful to you. To conclude, I think this is a great premium quality tablet that is well worth the premium price. I think Huion has caught up to the point that I'm not sure I would even recommend a competitor. At the moment, it's in a similar price range as the Cintiq Pro 16 that I've been using, but you get a larger screen, a quieter and less hot tablet, and in my opinion a better pen experience too. I'll definitely keep using this for the foreseeable future. Feel free to let me know what kind of content you'd like to see on my channel. I'd love to make more videos in the future. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day!